The Millermatic 255, one of those machines that is very versatile in our small fabrication shop. One of the features that we'll use is we always use 90-10 shielding gas, 90% argon, 10% CO2. This one machine with that shielding gas allows us to do multiple processes. We can go to one station and do short circuit. We can go to another station and do spray transfer. And then we can head over here and do some pulse MIG. I hope to share with you the sounds that you can hear whenever you go from pulse to spray. Um, sure, everyone's pretty familiar with short circuit. That's a very common process in a shop. And with this 9010 shielding gas, we can even do that. What makes it really versatile is the auto set features. Obviously, everyone has their preferred settings uh, within certain parameters. But with the auto set feature, say a high school kid comes into our shop and he's going to be working for the summer. He's able to pick material thickness, pick his shielding gas, um, pick the wire size, all with pushes of a button and get him pretty close to where he needs to be to weld on some projects. I have some quarter inch plate tacked up here. First process I'm going to go into is the spray process, spray transfer, 90-10 shielding gas, quarter inch plate, a fillet weld. So the spray transfer is something that we use in our shop mostly for heavy structural stuff and it's usually in the flat position. This is a very fluid weld. Um, your weld puddle is fluid, but it's fast. You get a lot of metal down and it leaves a, hardly any spatter and it leaves a really nice uh, bead profile. I'm gonna go ahead and set the machine up and we'll run um, a bead here. We'll kind of let you guys hear what the spray transfer press, uh, process sounds like. So that's spray transfer, 9010 shielding gas, um, quarter inch plate, 27 volts, uh, 425 inches per minute. It seems to be running good. Obviously, if we we're gonna get into some heavier plate, we would have to adjust those settings. Um, we can also go to the auto set feature and get us closer there. It's just a very, very hot process, a very uh, fluid process, lays down a lot of material and just melts in as you're just pushing along. I'm gonna go into the pulse setting. The pulse setting is a little bit different because it's using the pulse feature. It doesn't put as much heat into your material, so you're gonna get less warpage. You can get out of position with the pulse setting, but yet you're still in a, in a spray transfer process. So you can get controlled heat input, but yeah, still get the penetration that you need and put a lot of material down, especially for heavy structural materials, uh, farm implements, uh, you know, tractor buckets and things like that. Let me set the machine up and then we'll do the pulse and you can hear that also. So I just switched the machine over to pulse MIG. Just gonna run a bead profile here, give you an idea, like you can hear what it's doing, you can hear how it's pulsating. Let's go ahead and run this bead, and then when that's done, we'll clean it up and then we'll go into the short circuit process, and you can see how using the same shielding gas with just changing some settings on the machine, I can run all three of those processes. Let's, uh, let's run one with a uh, pulse. <laughs> There's your pulse process. Again, that's, a, that's, a, that's one way to do it. Another process that we can use in the shop, especially for out of position, or when we're on some long structural tube, and let's say you're putting center gussets, sometimes using the pulse doesn't put as much input into that material, so you don't get as much shrinkage, as much pull. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set it up for short circuit and show you the only thing I'm changing is I'm pressing some buttons. Same wire, 035 wire, uh, 9010 shielding gas, and we're gonna go into uh, sh 
short circuit. The machine is set up for a short circuit. I'm going to run a, a small B just like I did with the other processes. And you can listen to that and hear that and see how that sounds. You, you hear that kind of crackling, that bacon sound. There we go. So I'm kind of stacking beads here. So we've gone through all three processes. We've done pulse MIG, we've done spray transfer, and we've done short circuit, all with the same wire, the same shielding gas, and the same machine. We didn't have to change anything, didn't have to set anything up. Um, I've just been stacking beads along here, but you can kind of see we've got some short circuit over here. We've got some spray over here. We've got some pulse below it. I know this wasn't a welding techniques video. I wasn't necessarily showing you how to weld. I pretty much pushed everything that I did here today if that offers any type of advice. Um, what I really wanted to express is the versatility of having this machine in the shop so that we can go to different stations, whatever process we need. We don't have to change our wire size out. We'll run 035, but majority of the time, whenever we are doing spray, we'll run 045, but we can use 045 for the processes the same way. Don't forget to subscribe. You can maybe do some welding techniques videos, but thank you uh, for joining us today.